Hi there and welcome to the video. My name is Gareth. Today I'm going to show you how to access the legacy refine mask option in Photoshop. If you don't want to use the select and mask, that's absolutely fine. You can still access the old version and I'm going to show you how. So we're going to start off by looking at this cat here, which we want to extract from the background. So to start with, I'm just going to click select subject just to make a rough selection of the cat, hopefully. And I'll just go and fill in any areas that it didn't get. But you can make this rough selection however you like. It really doesn't matter. And it can be very rough, as you can see here. Now, normally in more modern versions of CC or Photoshop in general, you would use the select the mask option. So just as a refresher, if you haven't used it for a while, I'll show you what that looks like. So if you click on this, it brings you to this dialogue. Now it's fully featured. It's, you know, really powerful. But a lot of users, including myself, have had a lot of problems with it in the past, with it crashing, just being slow and laggy, and just generally quite glitchy and unreliable in its um, results. So what I recommend instead, if you're suffering with any kind of problems with the Select and Mask, is just create a normal layer mask from your selection as a starting point. And then with the layer mask selected, go up to the Select menu, Go down to select the mask, but this is very important. Before you click on it, hold the shift key. And as long as you're holding the shift key whilst you click on it, it will bring up the old refine mask dialog, which is this. Now, I personally find this a lot quicker, a lot more responsive, and just generally more reliable than the new select the mask workspace. Um, so let me just start off here by... Um, taking the refine edge brush around the edge. Now I can see in the bottom left of the image, there are some black areas where it's showing through that basically weren't captured in the original mask. I'll deal with those in a minute. That's not a problem. So I'm just going to go around with the refine edge brush, trying to capture all the detail of the fur. I'm not worried about the color because we'll deal with that in a minute. Any contamination that's left. So I'm just going over the, um, let me just move this so we can see. It's doing a really good job. Now I use this, just while I'm finishing this off, I'll explain. I use this old refine mask um, tool to do 90% of my uh, mask refinement, basically, instead of the selector mask, the newer selector mask, just because I, I find it quicker, more efficient. There are occasions where... Um, very specific occasions where I will use the new select and mask workspace um, because in very specific scenarios, I find that it does do a slightly better job. But for the majority of those scenarios, this is just perfect anyway. Okay, so now we've done that, we'll click decontaminate colors to see if we can get rid of some of that blue fringing, which it has done. And a little extra tip, if you click decontaminate colors and there's still some color fringing left, it's worthwhile going over with your refine edge brush again, because after you've clicked decontaminate colors, any areas that you've already gone over with the brush can actually still be affected positively by going over again once decontaminate colors is, is chosen. So there's one area there on the back of the cat's head that looks still looks a bit blue, but I'm not worried about that. So click OK. And it's, I'm just going to put a temporary background behind that now that we're back to the main Photoshop screen, just so we can see what we're doing. Make sure we've got a really good mask. And to get rid of that blue fringing now or any remaining color contamination, just create a blank layer, change it to color blending mode, clip it to the cutout layer below. And just with the brush tool, just pick a color. Like well, I'm just picking a good fur color there and just brush it, just brush it over the contaminated area. I'm going to go on the tip of cat's ears just to make sure they're nice and white. And that's all you have to do. And if I change this background color now, you'll see we've got such a good mask that it works on white, it works on black, it works on any color and tone in between. And that is a sign of a really good selection when you can change it to literally whatever background you want and it still looks good. <laughs> Thank you.